Hey y'all, I'm Shayna. I'm back with another review for Tyler Perry's Sisters, season five, episode four. It's named The Letter, but we didn't see nor hear no letters at all. And if you're wondering why I got my scarf on, that's just how I feel about this episode. Like when I say straight filler, filler episode, like could have did without it. But we're going to go ahead and run through it anyway because that's just what we do. If you are new here and you enjoy this video at the end, help your girl out. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. So please hit the subscribe button for me on a Friday. It's free. Why not? If you enjoy the video, like it. If you've been here before, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and check out my other content. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Um... We pick up where we left off with Zach explaining why he accidentally called for Team McCarran. Y'all kept talking about her, so that's why. I mean, it happens. Like, people be mixing up their kids' names all the time. My mom called my daughter her cat's name. I mean, it just happens. Like, but I understand Fatima was already upset, and that did not help. So Fatima sounds crazy and unable to handle her emotions, and she like, let me leave, because I know how I get. I do not like the direction that Tyler Perry has Fatima's character going into. It's giving like angry black woman. We already have an angry black woman. We have Karen. I guess she's bitter baby mama. And so Fatima is just angry all the time. Like she just so hot, too quick to fly off the handle. Like all the time, every time, like it's played out. Like where everybody was cheering when she um, protected Andy in the parking lot. And Tyler Perry took it and ran with it. Like, we don't want this. We did not ask for this. Like, I don't like this for her character. But anyway, Zach finally finally lets Fatima leave. Then we see his tenant, Deja, who's played by um, Watch Jazzy. She Instagram famous. Um, so Deja come over there. She flirting with him. Talking about, I don't got the money for the rent, but I can, you know, I can get you something else. And he like, look, no, stop. So there's that. So um, I had stopped watching Zatima, watching Zatima and Sisters at the same time. It's just a little bit too much. But I guess she over there heavy on Zatima. Um, so then we see Q is in Maurice and Calvin's apartment, bringing women in and out, up and through. Um, when are we finally going to see Maurice and Sabrina? Like, it's even harder to watch Sisters because I haven't got my laughs in with my fave Maurice. Like, no Maurice, just no point of watching. But okay. We know um, Tyler Like the Dragon one week is a full season. So we know how he liked to do. So after he let another woman out the house, pretending like he likes women... <laughs> Calvin's sitting there just shaking his head in disgust like he can't even believe he's telling him like you really really sat there and did this to Maurice and Q basically and while talking owned up to what he did and he like oh well what you gonna do free rent if um Calvin only got half the rent his name ain't on the lease you ain't paying the other half y'all both about to be homeless this don't even make no sense so then he told Calvin he's playing hard to get. What's that about? Like, I think he's upset that Calvin's rejecting him. Honestly, Calvin has told you a hundred times that he don't like uh, men. Stop it. Like, you just trying to press his buttons at this point. And it's really disrespectful to be having women in Maurice's bed. Like, my goodness. Like, I mean, just lowest of the low. So Q got to leave and Calvin has somebody in there waiting. I thought he was like recording the whole thing so they could take it uh, to, to the police. But it's a locksmith. He's going to change the locks. So Fatima pulls up on Deja in the locker room because Deja is in there with her girls bragging about how fine Zach is and how she want to, you know, do the grown up with him. And she, you know, Fatima overheard what she said. So Fatima starts slamming the locker door on Deja's arm, telling her this a warner. Her friends left her high and dry. Like, they ran off. Because she was saying in front of the friends, like, now you remember what I did to you um, in that jacuzzi? And then Deja was like, she ain't really do. She ain't even really beat me up that bad. She ain't even really did nothing. Girl, okay. <laughs> it's not looking like. So Zach had to run in there with his eyes closed so he wouldn't see anybody undressed to try to get the team up out of there and calm her down. We see in the next scene, Pam comes to Karen's apartment. Karen's mom lets her in to visit. Um, can we stop acting like, 
I mean, I, I guess she could, but like, can we stop acting like Karen's mom really likes men? Like, can we just stop? Can we stop? Like, can we stop? Like, she could like bad boys. Maybe she liked them back in her day. Right now, it seems like she don't even like people. Like, she just seems like no nonsense. That's what they trying to do, but she's playing the part. Goodness. So, Karen asked uh, Pam if she called Aaron when she, when she was in the hospital. And then Pam was like, no. So, Pam reminds her that Aaron is friends with a doctor. So, now Karen feels silly because she sat there and cussed Fatima out for no reason. She was just looking for a reason and was loud and wrong. Danny calls Andy to ask about bail because she was like, Calvin said he got money to put up for bail. He got 20000 to put up. Where are he getting this money from? But I guess we ain't going to touch on that. Um, and she wants to see if Andy talked to her boss or Robin. After they hang up, Q comes out from the back um, with her boss, I'm assuming. And the boss was like, look, he took Zach's place. Like, he's going to be working here now. So Danny don't know who Q is. I hope she finds out real fast. And Q up there trying to flirt with her. Like, he don't got no pics. He will literally, like, he'll talk to anybody. He don't care. I hope Calvin come up to the job ASAP. So Fatima is at work venting to Andy about her and Zach's problems. Why would you be talking to Andy about it? Andy's Karen's friend and your boss. Like, she made that clear that she's y'all associates and that's it last season or the season before. So Andy reassures her that Zach is over Karen. She like, you got to give it time. You know, these trials are tribulations. That's what love is. And this ain't what love is. Not in my book. A baby on the way. A potential baby from somebody else. Yeah, these things happen before you, even though the baby on the way kind of happened during you. But this is too much. In and out of jail multiple times. It's only been a couple months. This is a lot, okay? Like, we just met. I don't got, I mean, no. <laughs> like, this is the honeymoon stage where we shouldn't even be having no problems at this point. But, I mean, Zach does love her, and I do like them together. So, Karen sneaks and calls Andy and tells her she's on bed rest. Her mom won't let her do anything or talk to anybody. So, Andy wants to visit her, you know, once she's all settled. Then Karen's mom comes in. She's like, I heard you talking on the phone. Karen confesses that she cussed Fatima out because she was mad at Zach. Like, ain't really nothing wrong with Fatima. She's cool. She ain't really did nothing. Like, I'm really just upset that I lost Zach <laughs> pretty much. Because what you mad at him for? You don't even know this is his baby. Zach goes to uh, Fatima's job to tell her that Miss Lisa called him. That's Karen's mom and invited uh, invited both of them and Aaron to Karen's spot. So I don't know, Karen, she he, she didn't go into detail, but she was like, look, come over. We need to stop stressing Karen out with this baby. We going, this pregnancy going to drag on for three seasons, three seasons minimum. I guarantee. Oh my goodness. She's not even like, is she out of the first trimester? Oh Lord. <laughs> so, um, but he was like, look, it, Karen listens to her mom. This might be beneficial. So Fatima was like, are you going to go? Basically, he like, with your permission, then I'll go. So she gave him the okay. And she was like, she'll stay back and invite her girls over and her cousin. She keeps talking about this cousin. Y'all said the cousin is either Marcel from the Oval. I don't watch the Oval. There's only so many Tyler Perry shows I can take at one time. So, <laughs> but we're going to see her character over here on Sisters, I'm assuming, eventually. Because we know how he liked to do um, then uh, they run into Hayden when they're walking out of the break room. I actually forgot about Hayden for a sec because what else are we, like, can we wrap his character up? Like, it's nothing else for him to, to say or do. Like, we can end it with him and move on and get a new character. <clears throat> so Hayden was like, don't forget I got a restraining order on you. They was like, no, you need to read your contract. You don't even know what you're talking about. And they ignore him <laughs> and walk off. Hayden runs into Andy's office to complain because he's upset. And um, Andy was like, did you read your contract? Like, clients can come in. Like, so that oversees you and your restraining order. And he's like, he's not a client. She's like, did you forget Zach is my client? I forgot. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I forgot. <laughs> because it's been so long. These storylines drag so much. Like, it's hard to remember. So, Hayden tells her she needs to be worrying about who's in Robin's office, who he meeting with. And 
Andy trying to play it cool like she don't care, but of course she curious. You know, the whole time he's saying that, I'm like, it's Gary. Like, that's 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 my problem, Tyler. Get some writers or just get some people to voice their opinions. Call me. I'll <laughs> I'll help. Like, this was so predictable. Like, come on. So Fatima comes in, she tells Hayden to get out. Cause she ain't scared of him. Of course he listens. Then he tell she tells Andy that he's in there meeting with Gary. Um, so predictable, underwhelming, no shot. Who cares? What are they talking about? Gary's probably telling him to leave her alone. We, then we've seen the previews that that's what he's doing, which he's messing it up because she needs his help with Sabrina, and Gary is getting in the way. She shouldn't have slept with him, but she did. Whatever. <laughs> like, Tyler, you got to do better. Got to do better. This is season five. We, we got to do better than this. We need help with the writing. It's too soon. This is only episode four. We're too soon in the season to have a straight filler. Like some of the scenes, I don't even think I wrote notes for because nothing was going on. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. If you want to just wrap sisters up and focus on Zatima, then do that. But do something. Anyway, let me know what y'all thinking down in the comments. We're going to keep on with the sisters train for the rest of the season. Check out my other content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you can, hit the thumbs up and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.